Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. This is the installation of my new 80 meter to 10 meter vertical ground plane antenna from 05 and I have made it tiltable. The post is now in place. I have checked with the spirit level. So it is 90, 90 degrees. So I have put half a bag of cement now because it's easy to mix and then fill. I'll first mix it with water and then pour it. So the post is now in place, painted, three coats of paint and I have also used a form here. This is above the grade here, soil level, so less chances of uh, the wood rotting. It's a lot of labor to get this carriage bolt to sit because of the square hole. Anyway, first thing is getting uh, the holes aligned on a pipe, which I have done 100%. Three sets of holes, so totally six holes. And I just now finished filing one hole for the carriage bolt. And this enters without any. So there. So I need to work on these two. So I managed to file these square holes one two and three just with these uh, small files and now the carriage bolt fits correctly into this one and of course the other side is just a regular hole okay i have now mounted the main mast or the pipe it's actually a gas pipe good gauge the all the, the three carriage bolts have been mounted so the bottom one center and the top i have about nine inches on top and i am told that the antenna itself will s sit inside this by about six inches so that is how i have done i have just left another about three inches there so so far so good things have come out pretty well i painted the steel pipe so it's second coating is over so after that i am going to mount it on that i leveled the ground and also mowed the lawn cleared up all the soil that was dug up leveled it here just spread the soil and it looks a lot more cleaner now I'm just waiting for the antenna to arrive. Everything worked as planned. Now that the post is all set, the antenna arrived. And here is the FedEx guy delivering my antenna. And uh, to my utter surprise, there was no duty. Zero duty and no brokerage uh, charges at all. Here are a few pictures. It came well packaged, four separate logical sections. Here are some measurements of the OD, ID, length, wall thickness, etc. The vertical element comes in two packs with each having seven sections, odd and even. Start with the odd, next is even, so on and so forth. Everything is top notch, high quality. The ground plane radials are also assembled in the same manner. The downloadable installation manual is well written and easy to understand. After assembling the vertical sections the previous day, I had taken the support of my tower for the night. Here you can see my son helping me move the full length vertical to the mounting position. At least two people are required to install this antenna. I had made the provision for tilting it because lifting it straight up in the air and inserting it into the main mounting mast by hand standing at ground level is a Herculean task. 
perhaps building a six feet scaffolding might help, but I did not want to take that route. The main mast mounting zinc plated carriage bolts are six and a half inches long, five eight inches dia with wing nuts. I have used anti seize paste on all the fastener threads. Okay, the antenna is now installed. There, that's the total height. I just uh, put that rope there, just so that in case something catastrophic happens, the antenna falls towards my property and not on those cables. That's the idea. And now I have also installed the ground plane uh, radials all around. I'm just waiting for the transformer un -un, and once that comes I'll be able to test it. They say that it takes a week for it to arrive after the antenna arrives. So everything is in place. The only issue which I already knew is the cloth line. I need to do something about it because two radials will touch the when when uh, when we put anything for drying then the cloth line will come down so that's the only issue